Do I just do it or should I say something? Say something. Oh no, <laughs> that's, I thought you were just going to say just do it. I didn't want to say. Okay, well then just say it. All right. So it's called Far Apart by Paul Tony. I had an idea that Christmas could be different. That it mightn't be the epitome of the truth under the Christmas tree. Unwrapping loneliness, pulling crackers of isolation, blowing out Christmas candles of dread, misery and despair. I thought there might be a woman there named you. If you are a woman named the woman I was thinking of. I had a Christmas list of jokes made for your sister to cheer her up at Christmas in case she was a bit sad when she'd see how happy you were with me. They'd cheer her up momentarily and then make her realize the potential for what was possible, the amazingness of your relationship, the lover she could never have. Unless you died. And we connected due to a knee-jerk reaction to the grief we felt. But then kept the relationship going long after our knee jerks were settled and you were rotting in your cold, cold grave. I go downstairs and put the kettle on. It boils and I'm glad. More minutes have passed. Christmas is a little closer to its end. Time goes too quickly when you are happy, so therefore sadness is the elixir of youth. A long, unfulfilling, interminable existence. And here we are, far apart. And here we are, far apart. <laughs> Beautiful. Do you, do you actually like it? <laughs> I do really like it. Really? It's, I, I really don't know what it, say, what it says about me. But... You don't mind, yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. <sighs> the fact that you don't mind makes you more attractive now, and I wish that it hadn't ended it even more. Oh, really? Yeah. No, oh. it'd be like, I mean, if you if you were like a bit more crabby about it, I'd be like, oh, geez, I'm better off without that one. But... <laughs> I was a good wife. That's your revenge now, is to be the perfect person. <laughs> Fill me with regret.